Hey, what's happening, FTD fam? Welcome back to another episode. Okay, so I think it's finally happening. The US public opinion and perception about what's going on with Palestine and Israel is changing. Let's take a look. You can't have this. And then expect people to support this. Very true. Whoa. Opinion in the US is shifting. Palestinian lives matter has become a thing. The Black Lives Matter movement has officially come out in support of the Palestinians. And the young and the woke are calling out Israeli war crimes. Yeah, sad to see man stuff like this. One of the I don't reasons for this like seeing destruction. Rolling US centric mm. news channels. With Hamas missiles still being fired into Israel. Hamas and Islamic Jihad rockets streaking across the sky from Gaza. Sirens ringing out warning Israelis to take cover. have been replaced by citizen journalism and smartphones that are revealing civilians at their wits end in Gaza. Now that the TikTok generation has learned all about the Arab-Israeli so-called conflict, remember the word conflict suggests there's a level playing field, they're managing to summarize the entire saga in catchy, minute-long songs. One day Palestine will be free, so be on the right side of history. You're not anti-Semitic if you stand against war crimes. Touche. Much True. of the change in opinion is coming from young people. Young people, people yeah. Uh, that are themselves of Muslim heritage, uh, Muslim faith, Arab heritage, including Palestinian Americans, but also people who are white or African American or Latino, but are progressive. Mm -hmm. They're realizing that what's happening in Palestine is just as atrocious as genocide against Native Americans. And it's not just the youngsters. 100%. According to a Gallup poll from last year, 70% of Democrats support the establishment of a Palestinian state. 70%? And I'm a pollster, but my hunch is that that figure has probably skyrocketed, skyrocketed. over the past week. Which means that mm. Joe Biden's policy of simply saying Israel has a right to defend itself and then selling Trump's best friend Bibi more weapons is revealing him to be somewhat boomerish and unwoke when it comes to Israel. The only people really loving Joe mm. Biden's Israel policy seem to be Trump supporters. Wow. That says a lot about Democrats America. Criticizing Israeli war crimes no longer seems to be taboo, or the career killer that it used to be in the past. And now Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, or AOC, and Rashida Tlaib and Mark Pocan have issued a resolution that's challenging Joe Biden's $735 million arms deal with Israel. And even if it isn't pushed through, and it's not likely to be, but the debate that this proposed resolution would spark about the propriety of selling Israel weapons in the House of Representatives would be unprecedented in US politics. So guys, there you have it. The narrative is actually changing and it starts again with young people. This is why I love the new generation. Some people think like, oh, the new generation, oh, it's gonna make the world worse. Look at them, they don't know how to work and whatnot. I love the new generation, man. We need some young blood sometimes in this world to make some drastic changes. People think that, you know, the civil rights movement was led by some old folk. You know, this was led by young folk. Talking about in America, you know, the the, the push for having black people be uh, treated as equal in society, just basic rights. That's literally it. And uh, this is some young people caused that movement, you know, and um, obviously not just young people, but, you know, the majority. And then now we see with Palestine, you know, Know, the young people, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, they are leading the pack here. They're exposing the truth of what's going on. And now some of the older folks, sorry to say, but some of the older generation, they're just too old school. They're too stuck in their ways. They're too blind to see what's right in front of them. And 
again, it's not necessarily their fault. You know, a lot of what they watch and consume is mainstream television, where they're just getting the news fed to them and that's it. But uh, the younger generation, you know, predominantly the younger generation, they're online, they're watching the TikToks, they're watching the Facebook videos, they're following YouTubers who have a little bit more insight of what's going on on the ground. And also their point of views and their opinions are a little bit more progressive than some older folk. That's just how it is. But yeah, to see some changes like this in the world, 100% young people, you gotta give yourself a hand. Now, I'm not even that old, you know, I'm just early 30s, barely hit 30. But uh, I consider myself still young folk. So uh, hopefully I qualify there because that's what we're doing, you know, uh, I'm using my platform to continue to spread the message of what's really going on in Palestine because I care. You know, uh, I care. I care about human life. I don't care what color you are, what religion, what ethnic background, what kind of culture you live in. If you're a human being, I care. And this is what this is all about for me. And, uh, you know, sometimes we get accused of like, you know, being so biased and everything. But at the same time, end of the day, if a loss of human life is a loss of human life, I'm going to speak up against it, you know, and uh, sometimes I get flack for that. Sometimes you get a little bit of heat for that, some backlash, but I can handle the backlash and uh, we're going to keep on going, guys. So uh, keep your voices being heard, you know, check out some of our related videos. I'll link to them below in the video description section. And also consider supporting us in raising awareness and uh, spreading information that is really waking people up. You can do so by becoming a member a monthly member, I'll link to it below in the video description section where you can join us. And um, yeah, because it's tough here for content creators, man. Our videos are getting flagged left, right and center. So uh, we're trying, we're trying guys. And uh, we can do it, we can produce more content with your help. So again, if you do want to help us out and support us in what we're doing here, become a member, the link to that is below as well. All right guys, see you in the next one, later.